What is going on guys, Basco Show here, welcome back to a new Shadow Legends video. I really hope you guys are doing amazing and you're having a good time during this Halloween Titan event. I'm going for it because I really want the Yukong Four Star Blessing. It's really worth it, so hopefully you guys um, are managing to do these uh, tournaments and events. And this video is about the defeat the spider dungeon using only the dark elves and I'm doing stage 10 hard mode and I know there are a lot of teams out there they can do this in stage normal I think it's stage 20 because there is no cap for cold art, so you bring Lydia Mitrala 3 cold art and you should do it in like 5 turns but the thing is if you do it in 5 turns of stage 20 you get around 35 points or maybe 38, 40 points, I can't remember. But the thing is, by doing 19 turns on stage 10 hard, you get 66 points and you have a chance to get a mythical gear piece or a legendary gear piece, you know, like better rarity gear piece. And obviously you almost, and of course you're gonna save energy because you're doing not double, but almost double the point that you do on stage 20. And this composition is not very very hard and it's not like super gear intensive and I'm gonna show you I went overkill because I thought I needed like more uh, speed I needed more like damage but you don't and I'm gonna show you in the run right now so we're gonna basically use um, Ruel A2 to kill the spiderlings and if you see at the damage of my Ruel I go overkill on him look at that I one shot them by a big margin and then the boss is gonna get to half health it's gonna heal up from two spider link the one that respawned and then Ruel is able to put X again because he has this on his um, uh, A3 even though Mitral now is gonna put the X again it's just something that maybe we can tune as well I don't know I still have to figure it out but anyway, he goes again and now because he got the turn meter increase from the A3, he's gonna go again and one shot everything. Now, if uh, he kills the spiderling there, it will be 16 turn if he kills the boss. Otherwise, you have to wait for Cold Dark Head Seeker to go and it does, um, yeah, 19 turn. But the difference is like 68 if you do turn 16 and it's 66 if you do turn 19 so it's not a huge difference and I don't really care it's just RNG I'm gonna show you the preset and then I'm gonna show you how if you don't have Ruel because Ruel was a fusion a long time ago if you're not know Ruel you can probably use another champion here you just need to make sure that you can shot the spiderlings and you can probably do it because if you have Mitrala and you have uh, Lydia you can probably try and replicate this with another nuker in this position. Gonna show you the preset now. I'm gonna go in the turn order. So Cold Dart is gonna open up with the Heart Seeker, and then Lydia is gonna go and place the decrease defense at Wigan, and then we have Mitrala using the A2. So we put the X on everybody, and then Rue is gonna go and use this skill. Then the boss goes. And pain keeper reset uh, by one turn everybody's skill and then you're gonna have uh, basically the team going again they're gonna use their you know a once I should probably like block this skill here because this skill has um, a long uh, animation so it's gonna use a1 it's gonna use the a2 very important because it's gonna put the shield and Colda is gonna use this one and the rule is gonna go again and it's gonna use um, this skill and then it gets a 50 percent turn meter so it's gonna get a turn probably like before pain keeper and it's gonna use this skill again so the main thing you need to pay attention is that the speed of the boss is at 250 if i'm not mistaken and um, i build rule with 250 speed you don't need the 100 critical rate because he has a 20 percent aura so you need 80 percent on him and i went with 230 critical damage and he still does the job and I actually drop uh, his attack to gain more speed I'm using a accuracy banner 
but you don't need to if you have 300 accuracy because he plays uh, increase accuracy with this buff if he has 300 accuracy it should be enough to place the X so if you can run it with attack is better if not just get accuracy banner and because my accuracy banner has double roll on speed I managed to get to 250 and I think 250 is the the speed of the boss so you need to be at the speed to get the turn before her but because you also place increased speed with Lydia maybe you can also have 245 or even a little bit less maybe so you have to try you know you don't have to be at 250 like I say Lydia plays uh, increased speed with this so like I say in this case speed is more important than the rest of the stats you can do it with 230 critical damage and 80% critical rate and less than 6000 attack and then you have to tune that cold art is the first one to go and then Lydia Mitrala follow up so you don't need to be at this speed you can be like you know 255 254 253 and you know 250 or 245 and then Penkeeper goes this Penkeeper is the one that I use in the crumble so she's at 239 if you have many the composition you probably should have a Penkeeper around this speed so I'm gonna show you the run again I'm gonna explain you how for example you can drop him and you can use maybe uh, this champion that I can't remember her name I think it's uh, Rai her name where is she and she also has uh, like a speed aura in old battle okay you can probably use her because um, she had the speed aura so you can drop all the speed of your champions and she has uh, three AOE skill so I'm pretty sure if you use for example this one you're probably gonna be able to do this because he does 50% more damage against target under debuff and those enemies they're gonna have debuff if you use this one you might be able to shot the spiderling and then you're gonna have the same outcome maybe you need to boost her damage you need to have it maybe like in you know savage with higher critical damage and maybe higher attack but overall you can drop the speed this aura right now is giving her probably 30 speed because the aura speed works on the base speed so if let's say you have 100 you have basically uh, 33 extra speed so you probably can have it at 220 and you're gonna go before the boss so if you do that you can maybe run a attack uh, boots or you can just uh, get critical damage on the substats instead of like speed and I'm gonna show you in the run again I'm gonna pause it before Rua is gonna shot the waves and I'm gonna show you how low the spatterings are and how they're probably gonna die from any nuke that is building savage okay we're gonna go with the X and now we're gonna place the decrease defense so see how they look at the spiderling let me put a one time speed i'm gonna attack them so the first hit gets them very low see so maybe you can also do this with um another nuker okay i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't built my riot so i'm not sure if you can do it and then i noticed that she's going before the boss at 239 speed because she has the increased speed so yeah rural can be also at less speed like 239 is fine and uh yeah that's it there are probably other compositions that can do this without uh, rural um and like i said you can do it in maybe like 25 turn 30 turn and you're still gonna do around 60 uh, points so it might be worth it to try this because like I said you get better gear and um, yeah you save energy so overall I think this is uh, probably the best team to do this um, tournament and now we should get a heart seeker from yeah cold art and it's done okay now talking about the build I'm using a mitrala in bosses set because that's the one I use in uh, arena and then i'm gonna show you the rule is in a savage and cool set 
I don't think you need this uh, Savage and Cruel set. You can clearly see how my damage was overkill. I literally almost kill the Spaderling with one hit. And this attack plays two hit. Okay, when you have X debug form, you can um, drop maybe the Savage, maybe just do uh, six pieces of Cruel. And uh, I already show you the total stats. I'm gonna show you again and the masteries are this one I don't know if this mastery are probably the best one for him I haven't used Ruel in such a long time since I got Seer I drop him from my dungeons runs because Seer is just like um, easy to set up but yeah this is my um, Ruel nothing crazy 230 critical damage is uh, easy to get uh, maybe it's harder to get the speed to 250 so see what you can do we got a Lydia in curse set I use it in the Hydra and then we have a Kolda just in like um, two pieces of perception critical damage I'm running it like attack chest just because I didn't have a better option and I got these uh, two pieces for counter but uh, they're just there I think because they have uh, high speed um, yeah, triple speed, triple speed. I was running this Colta in the Far Night. She used to be at 290 speed. So I just dropped her the speed a little bit because I don't use it there anymore. And the, where is she? That's the one I use for the Clambos, Painkeeper. She just in Toxic uh, and two pieces of Cruel. Nothing crazy. Now I'm already, um, 1380 points and I think I did uh, around 20 to 25 runs so it's incredible that I probably can get this uh, milestone in maybe uh, maybe 80 run in total so I, I probably need to do another 60 runs and I can get to this I'm probably gonna push all the way to this one and maybe I'm gonna try to get um, the top three as well so that's it for the video guys uh, let me know if you have any question. I mean it. Let me know. I normally check uh, my YouTube um, channel often during the day. So let me know if you have a question. And um, let me know also if you have any other ideas for this team. Maybe I'm missing something. I can do a different speed tuning to gain, you know, maybe uh, more damage or something. I can one shot. I was thinking maybe to hold. Uh, called out her seeker for after mitrala plays the x but i don't think it's gonna be worth it because then she's gonna miss out on the um painkeeper resetting the skills by one turn so i decided to use it straight away but this can be another option uh subscribe to the channel if you're new please and leave a like if you enjoyed this content and i'll see you soon with another video peace